Okay, I am going to do a review of my four phones, the LG Lotus Elite, the LG Versa, Samsung Elias 1, and the Elias 2. Now, these four phones are not activated. These are a part of my phone collection, and uh, I'll, I just got this one today, so uh, I'll just uh, do a quick video of it. As you can see, LG Lotus Elite, the flower in the back, and the red. Which I think is really cool. Even does it as well on the front. The front's touch screen. But uh, with the old Lotus, it didn't have that. Um, I do want a Lotus in my collection, so uh, I'm going to try to get one soon. I just love that startup sound. I mean, really. It's much better than this. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, you got Google. Navigation, Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, MySpace, um, shortcuts, personalizing, account, messaging, home, and the internet. Google. I thought that was really cool. How it, and with Google, you can access, focus, maps, Gmail, and YouTube, and then it says add a feature. Oops, I don't want to get into that. I sometimes screws things up with this one. Let me go to the home menu. As you can see, you get a totally different layout. Um, you can do... Um, music, TV, and games, which I think is really cool. So, yeah. Um, and then I'll move over to the front. As you can see, which I thought was really cool, it has a slide to unlock module like the iPhone. Um, and it's got the butterfly that moves around. You got messaging, slideshow, speed dial, contacts, and history. So, yeah, that's the um, sprint. And before I turn it off, there is a cool feature on this phone that I would like to show you. Um, if you go to tools, oh wait, let's see, um, oh wait, I'm in the wrong thing, settings, um, ringers, power up and down, you can change it, that's what's currently set to, and there's three different presets, this is the second one. And the third. I really do like the third. Um, so yeah, you could do that. So yeah, that's the LG uh, Lotus Elite from Sprint. Got this for like $41, I think. Or something like that. Cool power down screen. Um, then you got the LG Versa. Let's <laughs> mix that noise when you open it. Um, it's got the keypad. You can uh, attach it by pushing this down. Sometimes you gotta hold it and like shake it out. Um, let's see, there we go. As you can see, phone's not in. Um, that's what makes it attach. And right there. Um, so yeah, that's a keyboard. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, this is my stylus for it, the stylus is actually from an iPack, not an iPad, iPack, which was an old device back in the early 2000s, I think, um, and then the front screen here, you, uh, can make phone calls by pressing the N and turn on, but you can't turn on the phone with this side, but, uh, um, let me attach it back on. Um, hold on, let me just uh, lock it. Okay, there we go. I have it on the wrong side. I think it's in. Yeah, it's in. Okay. Um, let me see what we got here. Um, also, if you uh, you got touch to unlock. Got shortcuts, media. 
module favorites and uh, got a oops uh, where did I drop it here we go he also got a menu here and you can scroll to the different things um the coolest thing I like about this phone is uh you can actually draw on it I'll show you let me uh, rotate it here you can change the colors you can change this how big you want the right and how big you want the eraser to be so I'll show you a little example right now for them can do the biggest one and I'm gonna pick my favorite color and here we go so see that's what it does kind of it's pretty cool I really do like that um, say drawing. You can say the drawing, but I'm gonna choose no. But yeah, that's the uh, LG Versa from Verizon Wireless. I'm put my stylus back. Then you got the Samsung um, alias. This is the first version. Just turned on here. <laughs> Which I thought was really cool with the screen then. <laughs> From Verizon. <laughs> Let me just move these two out of the way. Let me just uh, compare it really quick before we get to, to it. Here they are side by side. Which I thought was really cool. Alright, so let's move on. You got a lot of things, get it now, stuff like that. And then if you switch it, you it just you can do the same things but it's a bit different. You have to press it down and, up. and then uh you got games, but uh this one doesn't have it. Um Oh, the phone froze a little. So yeah, that's the alias from Samsung and Verizon. Um, last but not least is the alias too. Um, this one's a bit different. It's got the e-ink keypad, and the difference is the bu the power buttons right here instead of the end. Here we go. As you can see the e-ink. So, uh, oh, come on, why doesn't this load? It takes forever. Um, oh, there we go. Um, sometimes this phone can be a pain in the ass. I'll show you what I mean. If you have it closed, um, sometimes the E8 keypad won't switch when you turn it up to the other side. As you can see, it changes when, uh, you go to the menus and could do the arrows here. It's really cool. I mean, uh, had this phone for a while. It's in bad condition. That's why I have the tape here, or else the cover just comes right off, which I think is a annoying. Um, you could still do similar things. Um, it's on this side, which I think is really cool. I like the phone. Um, so yeah, that's the. Uh, um, at least two from Verizon. So probably one of my most favorite phones I have in my collection it collection is the Lotus because I think it's just really cool um, with the touch screen on the front and uh, with the flip phone and uh, you could do the different things here and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Have a good day.